Hello guys and welcome to my 11th uh, basic excel tutorial and this tutorial is going to show you uh, how to um, split out these names into first name and last name so I'm going to get rid of the, uh, the other things I've been doing from the previous tutorials um, and I'm also going to trim these ones up because I can't be dealing with uh, all the spaces it's going to destroy my mind um, one quick tip is if you copy and paste and click on this then you get a variety of different ways you can paste it and I'm going to go for values only and that takes the values from the formula rather than the formula itself um, and drops them in there so where before it was erroring it was because I put a formula there and it was trying to look off the edge of the sheet um, now where I've changed it to values is literally put the values of the formula in. Um, I'll do that again uh, just to just to do it a bit slower. So here I've got a formula. Um, all I do is copy it uh, and you can use control C um, and then paste it um, and you'll see that all of these uh, have gone wrong because it's trying to look off the edge of the sheet we go on here, go to values, then it's taken the values from this cell uh, and putting them in this cell. Um, so that's just useful, that works with numbers as well, it works with anything. Um, so what we need to do um, is we need to find out at what point within this string is the space between the two names. So if we go equals find open text. So we're looking for the find text. Um, if we click on find it will tell us what find text is. Um, so this is the text you want to find. Uh, fairly obvious really. Um, so uh, and again you put it in uh, I've forgotten what they're called. Um, inverted commas, speech marks, whatever you want to call them. Um, I'm going to call them speech marks uh, because the actual word for them has gone out of my mind completely. Um, and then the within text is the string that you're looking for. So let's click on here. And start num is the number to start at. So say we started at put in 10, it would start looking from the 10th character. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. But we don't want to do that. Um, and you, you can leave it out anyway and it will just search from the beginning. Um, so this is saying 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Boom. Found it. Okay. And drop that down and it tells you exactly where the space is. Um, so you may be thinking, well, what use is this to me? This is just telling me where the space is in your string. Well, um, there's another formula that we're going to use next. So let's just name this column. So space position. And always get into the habit of uh, naming your columns. And when we come to sorting and uh, filtering columns, uh, you'll understand why. Um, um, it's just, it just makes sense. Um, and so this go to the next formula which is going to trim off this section. So we're going to go equals left and then this takes two parameters. The first one being the text that you want to trim and then the second one being the number of characters that you want to trim. So if we click on 8, close bracket um, and enter. But what this is going to have done is this is going to have given us the space as well. Um, so if we go minus one and then this that gets rid of the space. We drop this down and there we have it. We've got all of the um, all of the uh, first names from our string. Um, so there we go. First name. The next thing we want to do is take the 
take the right hand side of the string. So that's equals right. And again, you just select the text. And then for the number of characters, we can't use 8 because this is the number of characters from the right hand side. Um, so, well, we could use 8 in this one because it just so happens that there are 8 characters. But in this one, there's only 4. This one, there's 6. So it, it doesn't equal that number. So, what we're going to have to do is take the entire length of the text, which is used which you use len to get, so len open bracket select the text again and that will give us the length um, minus where we find that close bracket and then this gives us the surname uh, exactly as we want it so say this one's length is going to be 4 plus the space plus 6 so that's going to give us a total of 11 here we've got 5 so we're doing right take that string and then do 11 minus uh, 5 I'm in the wrong one 11 minus 5 which equals 6 so we're taking the 6 on the right hand side which gives us Banton um, and then if we really want to we can go proper and drop that down and we can go trim and get rid of any spaces drop that down and you can do whatever and as you can see you can just keep building the formulas up um, and then if we want to just knock these back together again let's check in another column um, rename this one surname full name and then we go full circle and just goes equals first name uh, ampersand uh, double quotes ampersand and surname the reason for the double quotes is just to add a space into the middle and that gives us the full name back again so and then it this one now equals that one um, exactly. So that's it for now on uh, dealing with uh, text strings. Um, thanks for listening and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial.